to ready and go. So there are exactly four integer values of n for which this division itself comes to be an integer. Well, it's a division that's only going to work a certain number of times. If it were two, you'd think immediately prime. Well, four's the same because you're talking about integers. So normally if that answer is a whole number, it means that either the denominator is equal to one or the denominator's equal to the numerator. The only difference here is to make the 4, either the denominator is plus or minus 1, or the denominator is plus or minus the numerator, and nothing else. Well, one thing is, there's no point equating that to plus or minus 1, form an equation, and then equating that to plus or minus the top part, and trying to solve that system of equations, because that would work for any number. All numbers divide by 1 in itself, it's just that they'll also divide by something else. No, the clue here is the top must be a prime number. So, that means that rather than try and figure out what n is, what the denominator should be, the best thing to do would be to try and get rid of n. It's going to just be a bit of a pest in this case, because I just want to concentrate on the top being prime. Well, you can get rid of n from the top by dividing it out. So you could carry out a formal division, if you liked, and say n minus 2 into 2n plus y will obviously go twice. So that's 2n minus 4. And upon subtracting that, that's take away negative 4, so that'll be y plus 4. So the answer will be 2 plus y plus 4 being the remainder, still being divided by n minus 2. Or you could reconstruct the top to involve multiples of this. So you could reconstruct the top to say, well, if I've got n minus 2 and I double it, I want a 2n minus 4. But to balance that off, to keep the top the same, I'll have to put a plus 4 over n minus 2. And then, of course, that splits into the same result. That part becomes 2 and that part becomes this. Now, what this says is, if this is an integer, well, since that's a whole number, this must be a whole number, so this must still be the case then. The top of this must be prime y plus 4 is prime. Now it's just a case of figuring out all the way from 1 to 20, adding 4 on, how many of them give you a prime number. We'll start with 1. 1 and 4 is 5, so that's fine. Obviously all the even ones are no use because they're going to start at 6, so it's only the odd ones you need to consider. 3, that's fine because that's a 7. 5, that's no use because it makes it a 9. 7, that's fine because that makes it 11. 9, that makes it a 13. 11 makes it a 15, that's no use. 13 makes it a 17, yep, that's fine. 15 makes it a 19, so that's fine. And 19 makes it a 23, so that's also fine. So those are the ones. Those are the ones where if you add 4 onto them, they'll give you a prime number in this range. So adding that up, you've got 3, 6, 7. There's 7 of them, so that's answer B.